All right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and that means we're doing some cooking around here today. The first thing you want to do, scan the QR code on the screen with your smartphone, and that'll take you to a link for today's uh, recipe. Today uh, marks the ending of the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Uh, today is called Eid. So uh, happy Eid to all those celebrating. For that, I thought I would do some Middle Eastern favorites uh, today, and I'm going to start off with homemade hummus. This is pre-made in the stores, and it's okay when you buy it in the store, but oh man, not like homemade. I took a can of uh, chickpeas, garbanzo beans, rinsed them, put them in the uh, food processor. You can also do this in a blender. Uh, into this also will go about a half a cup of tahini, which is ground sesame. Incredible, nice, nutty taste. So that's gonna go in. Uh, a clove or two of garlic goes into the mixture as well. A little dash of cumin, which is a real staple in Middle Eastern cooking. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in here now. And then I'm gonna blend it all up. Lemon is gonna go in here and so is olive oil. But all of this then gets the mix. And you gotta mix this for really like a uh, couple of minutes until it's uh, really nice and smooth. And part of what makes it smooth is the lemon. This is, I'm gonna put in the juice of uh, one lemon that I already juiced up to save some time. That's about one lemon's worth. And also really nice quality extra virgin olive oil. It's gonna go in as well. All the proportions are on the uh, website, but I don't know how close we can get to see how much this is. Now this could actually use a little more oil. It's a little bit thick. And you know what else loosens it up a little bit and is really good? If you take a couple of ice cubes, just a couple of ice cubes, you could do water, but the uh, crystals of the ice cube really break it up and makes a nice, creamy, wonderful hummus. When it's done, you present it on a plate with some olive oil, with some parsley for garnish, a little paprika. You can serve it with pizza bread or your favorite vegetables. So here is your homemade uh, hummus. We'll finish that up in just a minute. Next up, I'm gonna do a traditional tabbouleh salad. Very, very uh, traditional. And it's a salad which is no lettuce. Uh, there are tomatoes. This is about four. Uh, Roma tomatoes that go in. There is cucumber. There is fresh mint. This is one of the magic ingredients here that really sets this whole taste apart. And then the main ingredient in this is finely diced parsley. Oh man, this already smells amazing. So just the way it is right now would be amazing, but here's what really makes a tabbouleh salad. I took some bulgur, which you can find in any store, soaked it. This is a, you know, a grain, and this gives the salad a little bit of texture. And just mix all of this up really well. This is about the consistency that it should be. This gets the olive oil treatment. Nice olive oil. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. I don't break the salt grinder. And here is what really makes this more lemon juice. No vinegar, no fats. No, nothing, but this is just freshly squeezed lemon juice. Give it a nice mix. It's gonna get some green onions on top of it, just for a topping. Mix it in a little bit, and how about some nice feta cheese on top of it also? Oh man, this is just the best salad. Soak up the dressings with some nice bread. Look how gorgeous that is fresh tabbouleh salad. And then finally, what I've got here 
is a shawarma nachos. Shawarma is just like gyros if you go to the store. Some places serve it as beef, some places do it as uh, chicken. And uh, you know, normally it's chicken thighs on a big cone and they shave it off. What I've done is I've taken the chicken, I've got all kinds of different spices in there that are all in the recipe. If you go to Trader Joe's, they sell chicken thighs with all of the chicken shawarma uh, spices already in there and you can roast it. Uh, I just did a quick saute on here and because I want to do this nacho style, I'm going to put a layer of the chicken down. I'm going to take some frozen french fries, the nacho part of it. These are going to get mixed on top of it. I'm going to take the rest of the chicken and put that on top of the french fries. You know, you can do this with roasted potatoes if you want to be fancy. And then, you know, you can, if you want, you can serve this with pita chips, but you really don't have to because the potatoes are already in there. It's still a little too hot to hold this, but put the rest of the potatoes on top of it. Then, I'm gonna hit these uh, french fries with some nice lemon juice. Then, also on top of this, just for a little garnish, some color, a few more tomatoes on here. How pretty this is starting to look. Some nice cucumbers. And you know, if you were to have a shawarma sandwich, you would put the uh, tzatziki sauce, the cucumber and uh, dill sauce on here. So this is just gonna get some of this on here as well. And here you have chicken shawarma nachos. Look how gorgeous that is, besides everything that I spilled on the counter. You can get today's recipes by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone. You can go to wgntv.com slash deancooks or we automatically send out the recipes every week if you just text the word cooks to 97999.